Jeff from Retro Rare and Rad and it is Saturday at about 7 a.m. and I am headed out to hit a couple of neighborhood garage sales. Um, I found in where I live that if I can hit the neighborhood garage sales on Saturday morning I can do pretty well. Um, you know the typical garage sale here uh, starts on Friday or in a lot of cases now people are actually starting them on Thursday and I work during the week so I'm not able to to hit those usually uh, until you know they're pretty well picked over what I found is on the neighborhood garage sales that the people that work during the week will still participate in the sale and on Saturday you know the sales already marketed they really don't have to do a lot other than put their stuff out I'm hoping that I'll do pretty well here. This is a an upscale neighborhood. It's actually two neighborhoods uh, back to back that are both doing uh, neighborhood sales. So the sale doesn't actually open until eight o'clock. Um, but I'm going to get there early, drive through the neighborhood, and hopefully hit a few of the, the early birds. Hey guys, it's about 7.30 a.m. and I've been driving uh, in the subdivision. So far I haven't seen a single sale open. I've seen a lot of signs and uh, I suspect that the bylaws of the subdivision do not permit garage sales to open prior to 8 a.m. That's my theory right now. Um, but it does look like there will be a, a good number of them once they do open up. Well guys, this is starting off kind of kind of weird. Uh, hit my first garage sale, and these people had a lot of stuff. And they were open yesterday, and it still looked like everything was, was fresh. So found a couple Thomas trains. Um, they had them marked kind of high, and asked them, you know, put them all together if they'd make me a deal. And they said, nope, everything priced as marked. So <laughs> I passed. Well guys, uh, garage sale number two. A bust again everything way overpriced I mean I can get better deals at Walmart uh, example I saw a uh, one of those Tonka mining trucks you know the big yellow dump trucks they had it marked for $20 and this thing was uh, you know fairly well played you know it was in decent condition but 20 bucks just looked it up on eBay they're selling for about six dollars on eBay and they uh, they would not they would not budge on the price. Amazing. Hey guys, on my way home, it's 10 a.m. Um, actually got a late start this morning on the sales. Um, most of them didn't open until 8 or 8.30. But, and, you know, first few sales were really duds and uh, people were just asking crazy prices for stuff. But after that, I really hit pay dirt. I ran across a couple of homes that had very, very high-end stuff, and they had a lot of it, and they were asking uh, really reasonable prices. So I had a lot of fun talking to the the folks and, and get you know kind of putting a lot of items together, doing a bundled deal, and I really think uh, I made out very, very well. In fact, I would say it's probably my best pick. Definitely went outside my comfort zone on a lot of stuff. I'm gonna walk through everything when I get home. I'll get it all laid out and do a, uh, a haul video, let you see everything I got. 